Anissa Coy here and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week we are continuing with our series uh, that was asked of me during one of our last classes, online classes of uh, our new students. And here's the question. Employee compensation, which do you prefer? Commission, hourly, production, bonus, and the difference between a project manager and an employee. Okay. So let's do the project manager and employee first. The difference between a project manager and employee is a project manager in my company is someone that I'm going to look to to be in charge. It's the person that I want to be the main uh, communication with my homeowner. Okay. Um, I feel like it cuts down on confusion uh, if you've got too many people communicating with your homeowner. So my project manager is that person. My project manager is responsible for the quality control and the smooth running of that job and all of the paperwork, um, getting it signed, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and getting it back in uh, to, the, uh, to the office administrator. So that's the difference between an employee and a project manager to me. The employee is, of course, the person that's doing the actual physical work part. Sometimes my project managers aren't necessarily, especially in cat losses, they're not cleaning. They don't have, um, you know, tools in their hand. They're usually doing paperwork, talking with homeowners and um, uh, inventorying equipment. Okay. So the second part of that question was, which do you prefer, commission, hourly, production, or bonus um, when it comes to employee compensation? <laughs> Okay, so I have some real particular feelings here. My preference, um, and, and I've only tried a couple of these uh, scenarios out, but my preference I have found to be good is, is hourly plus a job performance bonus based upon profit margin, uh, gross profit margin on the job, okay? So um, I would up someone's uh, bonus per job. They got a certain percentage uh, two, three to five percent, depending on my profit margin on the job. And I would set those up like those are pretty set and standard. Um, and then I do hourly. Now I pay higher than average wages for my area. Um, it's just what I do. My crew travels a lot for me. And so I just want to make sure that they feel very cared for. Um, I also take care of all of my, my crew's you know, uh, travel expenses as far as transportation, hotel, and then food. Now, again, we are traveling. Uh, it may be a little bit different for you if you're in a set warehouse situation with your contents. However, I also do lots of little perks. There's actually a $200 budget on almost every job for my project manager or my crew leader running the, the job to buy coffees or afternoon snacks between dinner and lunch for my crew while we're gone. Um, I find that to be, on, on a job site, I find it to be uh, a huge morale booster. So I prefer hourly, uh, above average hourly pay plus job uh, per performance bonus. I do not like, in particular, paying for um, you know, like a, like a piece rate where it's, you know, for so many box, you get paid so much per box or so much per measurement. What scares me about that is I get nervous that I'll lose quality, that, um, time quality will get sacrificed for speed. And that's a very scary thing when it comes to contents. All right. Well, hopefully I answered your question there and you found that valuable. I'd be very interested to hear how you compensate your employees, especially when it comes to contents cleaning and structure cleaning. Why don't you go ahead and leave some comments below and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And speaking of hearing from you, don't forget to email me questions at nisa at firehouseeducation.com and I will see you on next week's video.